I kind of just mash stuff on my face and I hope it works. So that's what we're going to do tonight. But this is possibly the best under eye concealer you will ever find. This is a little makeshift going out. Need to make do with what we've got a hairstyle. me again welcome back to x amelia x and if you are new hello to you click that subscribe button and stick around for a while so for those of you who don't know me my name is amelia we make all kinds of videos on this channel beauty fashion travel food and we weekly vlog and today i'm going to be doing my out out makeup so i recently turned 30 and i realized that i haven't been out on the town for quite a while and the fact that i'm calling it out on the town makes me sound really really old <laughs> but i haven't been out properly for a while and tonight it's good night and we're gonna go for some martinis and be all like super fancy so i'm gonna do a full-on night out makeup which i haven't done in ages so i thought i'd film it for you i kind of just mash stuff on my face and i hope it works so that's what we're gonna do tonight my skin is really not great at the moment so i've got my base on already because it needs to sink in for a little while um and it's the pixie skin treats jasmine oil blend um and i do use oil in the day and night really my skin seems to drink it up even though it's um oily problem skin whatever you want to call it i look dreadful but worry not <laughs> by the end of this video i will be looking semi presentable so i'm gonna go in with two primers because i have really open pores on my cheeks they're so bad and the only thing that i think fills them <laughs> It's Benefit Pore Professional. It's basically like polyfiller for your face. It's great. You can you can literally see the difference in one swipe of this product. So if you have large pores and you are looking to get that more kind of flawless look to your skin, um, this is the product for you. It's amazing. Like genuinely, it's awesome. And it doesn't make me break out either. It doesn't seem to clog them. It's great. It looks like this. And then I'm going in with the Lancome La Base Pro Hydra Glow. Um, and it's an illuminating makeup primer. Now this is just stunning. It's a really gorgeous product. And this will kind of just go everywhere else. If I could have a bucket full of it and just plunge my head in, that would be best. This is such a lovely product. It's so smooth. Oh, it smells amazing and it really does help boost um, the glow that your skin gives off, which I really, really need today. So foundation wise, at the moment I am in between tan and not tan and all sorts because we've been having some great weather. So I mixed two and it's the Rimmel Match Perfection in Ivory and then the Nip and Fab Foundation in 25 because that's just a little bit darker. Um, I tend to pump it on to a 104 zoeva buffer brush oh check me out she's still got it it's been a while since i've done one of these videos <laughs> just put them on together and mash it on your face see what happens i just really like both of these foundations if i'm honest they they sit nicely on my skin they wear quite well they cover quite nicely i would probably say they're sort of medium coverage um but they also build. I mix in as well a little bit of the Kiko Less Is Better Fluid Highlighter because it's not like a super highlightery highlighter. Sorry, the pump's broken. And I kind of mix that with the foundation and again, that gives you a really nice glow. That's like a proper good tip that is for giving an all over glow. It doesn't make you shiny. Um, I mean, I have some highlighters in my bag of tricks that are super, super highlighty. I wouldn't mix one of those, for example. But if you can find that Kiko one, it's called Less Is Better, um, it's great. It's a really, really subtle highlight that you can mix in with your foundation for more of a glow. Um, and then I tend to pad it in with uh, my beauty blender. It's not wet, it's still a little bit damp from the other day. So um, that gives you quite a nice base, I think. But we still need to do something with these spots and these hideous so eye bags. So I have a product for you. Oh, 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 it's the product of dreams. It is the It um, Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. I have this in light. It is the best thing in the world. Toby did get hold of it, so it's got like little doggy teeth marks in it which is frustrating, but luckily he didn't pierce it because I would have strangled him, taken him back to the puppy shop and sold him for glue. But this is possibly the best under eye concealer you will ever find. Let me demonstrate. Concealer brush, concealer buffing brush from Zoeva. Really good investment. These Zoeva brushes, I've had them for years. They wash really well. They're just 
it's just great. So, go in with my technique from my little under eye concealer -y video that we did years and years ago, but genuinely it still works. Don't put it all over your eye area, just go where the shadows are. So if you tilt your head down, you can see where the shadows are. They're kind of like in here, this bit here, and there, and just straight underneath the eye. If you do that, it brings the shadows forward and it really does help. Um, and also because it's so light in comparison to my skin, I'm gonna do a bit of Kim K um, highlighting and contouring with it. Um, a little goes a long way with this product, so you can literally use it for your entire face just a little bit that you put under your eye. So just dabbing it across my T-zone, down my nose. I'm gonna highlight the two Cupid's bow lines as well. Find that makes a big difference. What was that noise? And on my chin too. Looks a bit weird. We're gonna blend it in, don't worry. Right, so I'm gonna blend it in now using the same beauty blender as before just sort of padding it over the areas really. Oh, already looking so much better. And then what I tend to do, once it's all kind of blended in, I then take my foundation brush, don't put any more foundation on it, but just sort of blend the edges a little bit more. Um, and I find it just sort of sits on your face a little bit better. So we're very highlighted right now. We need to now go in with the contour. First, a new product. It is the Plump It Lip Plumper. And I did a whole video reviewing this bad boy. Uh, I unboxed it and put it on. I didn't know what to expect. And ladies and gentlemen, it works. Genuinely, it works. But it just felt like your face is on fire. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to put this on now. And then hopefully, by the time we come to do lit, they're gonna be very nice and plump. Benefit boing. Pop it on where my spots are. And a little bit around the nose as well, just to kind of keep that looking fresh. So now we're gonna go in with the contour, and I am still a massive fan of Kevin O'Quan's sculpting palette. I have it in medium, I think the shade is, can't quite remember. And this amazing brush, it's called a Fluid Arc Brush from Zoeva. I like it a lot. Um, and I tend to just get this, I have hip pan, I need a new one, and uh, run it underneath my cheeks. So you can do the sucky in thing if you want, if it helps. And then I run it under my chin too. That side looks thinner already, it's amazing isn't it? And then I kind of just go round the outside bit there. It looks brilliant, doesn't it? Uh, and then I go in with the Too Faced bronzer, the chocolate bronzer, and a big buffing brush from Barry M. Um, and that, so, that sits on top of where the contour is. Um, just kind of do this in stages, really. Like, stick this on. Uh, this kind of like blurs the line a little bit. A little bit, not a lot. Um, and then I go back in again with my foundation brush but without any more foundation on, still. Um, and then just try and buff the lines in a little bit so they're not as obvious. Um, I don't know, just lightly kind of brush in circles along the lines. You can see it does, it blends in. Looks pretty well. I feel like I have a little bit more structure to my face now. Makes me happy. Um, I use browsing by Benefit still after all these years. Um, and I have an awesome little double-ended spoolie thing from them. Uh, I got it at an event. I'm not sure if you can buy it, but go into your counter and ask them because genuinely it's increds for doing your eyebrows. Um, but it also does come with a little one actually, but I lost mine. So if you just want to buy something off the shelf that you can, you don't have to like have special brushes for, this is a really good little kit because it's all in there. Um, if not, I also recommend the MAC 203 brush. It's a really like tiny little angled brush. I used to use it all the time, but now I'm just lazy because it's a double ended one. So I'll just go with this. So I tend to mix the two together, the gel and the uh, powder and just go in and try and find my natural shade for my eyebrows. They really need doing, they're kind of like nearly disappeared with this sunshine because I am technically 
fair haired and a, bl a bit of a blonde, so. I've got like 20 minutes until I need to leave. Brilliant, well done, Amelia. Really, really quickly, how to frame your eyebrows if you're unsure. Get a pencil or something like that, put it on the edge of your nose, and um, uh, straight upwards, and that's where your eyebrow should finish, in the middle. Look straight forward, tilt it so it is uh, going through your pupil when you look forward. That's where your arch should be. And then tilt it again so uh, it just goes through the corner of your eye and that's where it should finish. And that gives you a really kind of quick idea of how to frame a brow. I'm gonna go in at first with Milk Kit from Benefit, which is just a white, um, just to kind of, I don't know, give us a nice base before we start putting putting loads of different colours on. So I'm going to go in with the base of It's Complicated from Benefit and it's a really nice kind of rose gold, if you can see. How cute's that? Really, really lovely colour. Um, and I'm going to sweep that all over the lid. So I'm going to use the matte colours from the end, these, these two here, um, and I'm just going to start building the crease going in the crease of my eyelid with the lighter one first which is called combust just to start building that shadow and then i'm taking whiskey which is the darker color and again sort of just like blending it into the crease oh no my battery's flashing oh no and then i'm going to go over with foxy which is like a really nice um neutral color just round the outside Round the outside, round the outside to blend it. So I've got a new eyeliner that I actually bought at the airport uh, on my last cruise that I did. Go and check out the cruise vlog, it's great. Um, and it's the MAC Liquid Last Liner. This stuff does not budge. So yeah, I've got a whole video on how to do uh, a cat eye flick. So if you wanna check that out in more detail, have a look at the video. And I still use the same technique, even now even though it was filmed quite a while ago. It's not too bad, you know. It's not too bad. Mascara, I use a few at the moment. Uh, the first one, I go in with the Lash Accelerator Endless uh, from Rimmel, just because it's like a really small, pokey kind of um, applicator. It's got fibres in it as well. So it helps make things a bit longer. And I just feel like it separates the lashes quite nicely and puts on a nice little base layer. Uh, and then I am using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It's an all time favorite of mine. I absolutely love it. it. It's brilliant. It's really nice mascara. Okay, we're nearly done. <laughs> so I'm absolutely loving Gold Rush from Benefit at the moment. Um, it's like a really nice shimmery pinky thing. Um, and I tend to just put it on the apples on my cheeks, kind of smile a little bit and put them on the apple. For highlight, which is very important, my favourite part, I love still the Pixi Dulce and Candé, Dulce Candé palette. Um, and I use a brush from Zoeva, the Lux Sheer Cheek Brush. And I tend to use a mixture of those two at the moment together. Sweep it across the top of my cheek. Oh, so shiny. It, this is a really, really nice highlighter palette. I um, I used it on my friend Lauren and she like went home and bought it straight away. It's so nice. So I put a little bit on the end of my nose, above my eyebrows slightly. Basically all the high points of your face anywhere, like the, uh, the sun would naturally hit it. Chin, chinny chin chin. And the top of my cupid's bow. I used to do a little bit as well. Um, but there we go, that's that. Let's move on to hair. Bit of dry shampoo. I washed this yesterday. Um, and I was at spa. So, got a bit of oil in the bottom bit. I was also in a hot tub, so yeah. Just needs a bit of dry shampoo, really. This is a little makeshift going out. Need to make do with what we've got a hairstyle. I've got a full tutorial on how I curl my short hair so if you want to find out in a bit more detail how I do that then um, head over to that video you can find it all there
so I explain it all in my uh, tutorial for how to curl short hair but the GHD curl hold spray genuinely is a game changer so even if you've got long hair just anybody who likes to curl their hair I'll leave a link down below for you to buy it it's so good like it looks like this oh it's amazing you can really tell the difference when I've used it and when I haven't used it for how well my curls curl and also how well they last as well And that is pretty much it. <laughs> it looks a bit silly, but I'm just gonna let it cool down. Um, and then we're gonna spray with hairspray and um, salt spray and just give it a scrunch. So I tend to use the clip um, just to run through because I don't have a wide tooth comb, but you can use your hands as well or a wide tooth comb, whatever you've got. Um, and it just sort of separates the curls and makes them drop a little bit too. Um, and then I just tend to run my fingers through, scrunch, and just, don't know, just mess it up a little bit. And there we go, beachy, messy, curly, second day hair. <laughs> it's the best it's gonna get. Um, but I quite like it, I think it'll look really nice with the rest of my outfit, which I'm going to show you now. And here is my finished outfit. However, I can't decide which shoes to wear. So I feel like because we're going out out, I need to wear some heels. And I have these lovely boots that I got from ASOS ages ago. Um, and I think that they look really nice with the outfit. And they also elongate me a little bit as well, because these trousers could be a little bit paper baggy, I don't know. Um, but then I also really love these little sandals from super dry and they're perfect and it goes with the orange theme i'm really not sure i think my ankles look a bit fat in these ones maybe i'll go for those but this outfit is totally from primark top from primark trousers from primark little bag from primark and we are ready to go so i hope you enjoyed this video guys um i haven't done one in ages and it felt really good so i hope you liked it leave me a comment down below let me know which shoes you would wear <laughs> not that it matters now because i'm going out the door now i'm so late um but yeah if you enjoyed this let me know let's do some more this is So Show from MAC, by the way, the lipstick, and I quite like the way it all pulls together. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe, click like if you enjoyed watching it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Double curling power curling mousse, <laughs> which is really difficult to say. I don't like mousse, I really hate mousse, but this is amazing. It doesn't leave your hair sticky, it doesn't make it feel crunchy, it just really does help the curls stay in place.